Hi guys, welcome to Tech Freak TV. I'm Paul. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best quality audio for your YouTube videos using a program called Audacity. So the first thing you're going to need to do if you haven't done so already is download this one here, which is your Audacity icon. So if you just open up your browser, type in Audacity and then click the free version. So from here you can see you can download it for Windows, 2000, XP, Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8. And if you click on all Audacity downloads, here you'll be able to select it for Mac and uh, Linux. So once you've installed the software, open it up, which I'll do now. Just takes a couple of moments to open. And then what I'll show you is the settings that I use to give myself the... Uh, best quality sound but obviously you'll be able to change that yourself if you need to you can tweak it so what we do we go to file and then what you want to do you want to import so I'm going to import some audio uh, that I haven't edited already so let's go with uh, we go with this one this is from one of my previous videos so what I'm going to do I'm going to open this up now and then, so here is the sound here. It's going to show you it in your left and your right channels. So the first thing that you need to do is eliminate any background noise. So normally, I mean, this one is a bit short, but normally you'd want to start with about five seconds of silence and uh, then start your recording. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to left click and drag it back to the start. So as you can see, I've highlighted that small section. The next thing you want to go to is effect and then if you scroll down here you'll see one that will say noise removal. Then the next thing you want to select is get noise profile. So now what that's doing it's going to get the profile for the background noise. So you want to highlight the both channels. So if you go control A and then go back into effect. Alright and then you want to go down to noise removal and you click on remove and then click OK. Now what that's going to do is remove the background noise for you. And what you might notice here is that flattens out. So it is quite even. OK, so now you can notice it's a nice flat line there in the background. So the next thing that you want to do with this audio is if you go to effect and then you want to look for the one that says normalize uh, there we go so click on normalize if you take a note of this number here make sure the first two are ticked and you want minus one so you want minus 1.0 db and then you can preview that if you want to see what it sounds like first but i've had a little play around and this is what i find uh, sounds the best click ok and then it's just going to readjust the track Okay, so now that's done, next thing you want to go back into effect and then you want to click on compressor. Now with this, the compressor, it just obviously compresses the sound. Um, I find between uh, minus 15 to minus 20 is the sort of range that you want to be adjusting and I tend to use minus 18. So if you make a note of that for compression, minus 18, um, you can leave these as they are leave those unchecked and uh, again if you wanted a preview you can select it here it just play a few seconds so you can hear what the audio sounds like and click OK again that's then gonna adjust the audio so once you've done that the next thing you're gonna want to do is go back into effect and you want to change your equalizer settings so if you go into equalization the first one here you see it's got select curve and it's unnamed so if you do a bass boost and click OK, it's going to adjust the bass. You'll see the levels here will probably change. OK, and then you want to go back into effect, equalization again, but this time instead of bass boost, you're going to want to use a treble boost and then click OK. So that's just going to adjust that sound for you. Alright, so you notice that it's quite loud there, uh, but that, that will adjust itself. So if you go back into effects, go all the way to the bottom, click the arrow, hard limiter, 
which is there. So if you select hard limiter, and then up here, you want to select that as minus four. Okay, so if you do minus four, preview again if you want to, but I've done those already, so I know this is what sounds like a decent sound. So again, that's just going to adjust the effects of your left and right channel. It has brought it down ever so slightly. And then the last thing you need to do here is just hit the normalize button again. Keep it the same, the top two checked, minus 1.0, click OK. Okay, and there you go. So now what you'll find, I'll just play a few seconds. Okay guys, so now what you're listening to is the audio with the Neoware clip-on microphone. Okay, so it's got a nice uh, tone to the voice, the treble and the balance is even, and uh, you'll find that the volume levels are pretty even as well. So there's my video just showing you how you can get the best possible audio for your YouTube videos. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave any comments or suggestions down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.